Yo, welcome to my channel. My name's JD and I'm an artist from Bristol in the UK. And today we're back for another episode of Drawing with JD. In today's episode, you've probably guessed from the title, I'm gonna be practicing my portrait drawings. As some of you may not know, growing up from my late teens, pretty much all the way through my twenties, I was actually a drum and bass DJ. I absolutely love drum and bass, couldn't get enough of it used to go to loads of events and I used to perform in lots of places in Bristol with some of my best friends and it was just amazing times of my life. In the drum and bass scene you get your DJs and you also get MCs and these MCs would host or spit bars on a set. Spitting bars, by that I mean they sort of rap or they spit lyrics basically. My favourite MC of all time, I mean the first time I saw this guy perform, he was up and coming, not really heard much about him, and I saw this guy perform, never have I seen such level of just hype and the energy this guy brought was just something that not many people can do, like no one else I knew could bring that sort of energy to a drum and bass set and straight away from the first time I saw this guy I knew he was going to be my favourite MC. For those that don't know, unfortunately back in 2018 we lost MC Storm into a battle to cancer. The guy was a pure fighter and he fought all the way. I got the chance to see Storm in live so many times and I'm so grateful for that. I even got the honour to perform at the same events as him and even one time I was literally directly after his set and I was just stood there backstage. I mean, I'll insert the footage because I recorded a bit. I'll insert the footage now. <laughs> See what I mean? He's just sick. Recently there was a documentary released on YouTube about Storm and MC and this is really what got me going to draw what I'm going to be drawing today. I'll insert a link to the documentary in the description. So basically I'm going to be doing this picture, I'm going to run you through the full process and yeah, there's not much else to say really. Let's just crack on. start by drawing a grid on my reference drawing. This shows me exactly where everything is in accordance to the paper. I'll copy this grid onto the new piece of paper with a slightly harder pencil so that the lines are a lot more fainter. I'm using the width of the ruler as a guide on both sheets of paper but when I come to look it up and see that they all match together they don't actually match. So learning from my mistake I just make the marks from the reference drawing onto my paper I 
join them together from there. So now I have my grid. It's time to start mapping out some lines. So I'm just looking at where they fall on the grid on my reference and just copying it onto my paper. It's as simple as that. using quite a hard pencil for this because I want this to be quite a faint guide. This is just something to go by and I don't want to make these lines too dark. Starting with a slightly dark pencil. It's not quite a 6B, it's not an 8B. I'm just testing the waters and just seeing how dark I want certain parts to be, starting with the darkest section. And you just work more pencil into the bits you want to blend, just using pressure on your hand, blending those pencils in. I'm right handed, I start on the left hand side of the portrait to make sure I don't smudge it as I progress through the picture.
section of a portrait and break it down into its own miniature portrait. So say the shoulder for instance, I will treat that shoulder as if it's its own portrait. I won't concentrate on anything else. I'll just concentrate on that one small section that I'm doing and I'll get it as good as I can and then move on from there. My advice is I would always like to start a little bit lighter than expected just because it's a lot easier to make something darker than it is to try and make it lighter and sort of erase it and go back over again. So I would always recommend going in a little bit lighter than you would first expect and then if it needs going darker it's just a case of putting a little bit more pencil down and making it that little bit darker. The face is the most important part of the portrait. I will concentrate highly on the face and make sure I spend a lot of time getting every detail of the face exactly how it should be so that it looks just like this person. this was a challenge as you can see didn't start working out well at first but all these little blocks of cheese on this hat i could have chosen a different hat but what's the challenge in that I think that's enough talking from me. I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video in peace. Enjoy.
are finished. And yeah, I am really stoked. It came out really good, actually. Anyway, what do you think? It'd be sick if you could let me know in the comments. Hopefully you, in Hopefully. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, it'd be sick if you could... What is wrong with me? I can't speak. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, it'd be sick if you give it that thumbs up and give it a like. And it'd be wicked if you could subscribe too. And if you keep that little bell notification icon ticked, you could be the first to know when the next video drops. So until then, I'll see you in the next one.